I remember just screaming and screaming and my skin falling off of my face. Going to sleep one person and waking up someone else is really difficult. No one can prepare you for something like that. I was 23 years old, living pretty much the life of my dreams, and I'd actually just started graduate school. So I felt like the world was at my fingertips and I was just enjoying life. And unfortunately, that changed. In May 2006, Carly was visiting her cousin in their hometown of Chicago when she was confronted by two women. So I knew something was wrong. I took off running towards my car. As I was running towards my car, they took off running towards me. I eventually made it into my car. I wasn't sure if I should start the car or, or try to, you know, fight with the woman, but she had a gun and she was trying to get the gun into the car. So I put my hands up immediately and I felt a splash, so one horrible, awful, I can't even describe the pain. My eyes burned so badly, my first reaction was to wipe, and you can see exactly where my eyes melted down. Um, and then I felt a second splash on my stomach. I heard screaming from outside, and it was, um, help, help, Raquel, help me. I remember just screaming and screaming and my skin falling off of my face. She had no clothes on from the waist down. Her shirt uh, was on, but it was melted almost to her skin. She came upstairs and she's like, I'm like, what happened? And she's like, those girls, those girls, they threw acid on me. Carly was rushed to hospital with life-threatening injuries. I would sustain third degree full thickness burns to 30% of my body. I would from that evening, spend six and a half weeks in the intensive care burn unit at the hospital and start undergoing a series of surgeries. I've had at least 15. I have scarring on about 65 to 70% of my body because of the skin grafting that had to be done. I first saw myself in the mirror accidentally. I, I completely lost it because I didn't know who that person was. So. My life would completely be turned upside down from then on. I was in so much pain and traumatized more than I could imagine. With therapy, I was able to get back to a normal state. Her attacker was sentenced to 15 years in prison. But for Carly, a lot of questions remain unanswered. There was a lot of speculation about what happened to me, and to this day, I don't have the answers that I want. I was angry, I was hurt, um, and also confused about why they do something so heinous. But all the, that negative energy was negatively impacting my own life. So over time, I just was like, I can't live like this. I've forgiven everyone involved, so I hold no ill will. Carly now uses her story to inspire others. I think it's amazing that she's promoting um, anything that has to do with body image and her motivational speaking. She's not just a survivor, but a thriver. She is remarkable. I'm in a really great place in my life. I'm working with young women, and I have an amazing four-year-old son. And my experiences are actually bringing a lot of amazing opportunities to my life that I otherwise don't think I would have. Your scars and imperfections are what make you special. They may have burnt her, but they did not take her life away from her. And she was, her point was to get back into that, get her life back. Before I was burned, I put so much of my worth into how I looked and my physical appearance. Beauty is much more than skin deep. And I love my scarves. I always say I love my stripes. I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs>